So for this question, we're dealing with a deck of cards, and we're asked how many different four-card hands contain at least two face cards. So let's see what we can figure out here. So first of all, let's make sure that we've got some numbers straight. So face cards. We know that face cards, there are four jacks in a deck. We also know that there are four queens in a deck and four kings. So that means we have a total of 12 face cards. Okay, so we're also going to have to, for each of these hands, consider the non-face cards. So let's say others. And with 52 cards in a deck, something we remember, and we subtract our 12 face cards, so we have 40 others. So it's time to consider what are the possibilities here. So we're told at least two face cards. So what does that mean? If we had exactly two face cards, that would be okay. Or we could have three face cards. Or we could have all face cards or four face cards. So any one of those situations could look after our possibilities here. So two face cards. What does that mean? That means we had 12 face cards and we chose two of them. Now to make sure that the others weren't face cards, we'd have to be very careful and say that the others came from our group of others. So two came from the face cards and two came from the others. And that would be two exactly face cards. Now, or so let's put a plus there. So let's just stop and clarify. If we want two face cards, we need this to happen and this to happen. So that's why we have the multiplication there. But when we're looking at it could be two face cards or it could be three face cards, again, the or is replaced by a plus. So let's carry on. So if we had three face cards, well, 12 face cards and we're choosing three of them but we have one card left over and it has to come from the others all right so and one more possibility here is that they were all face cards so we could say 12 face cards and we're choosing four of them now we could just leave it like that if we wish some people would feel more comfortable by saying well 40 combination zero. Now that's just equal to one, so it doesn't really make any difference, but some people would feel comfortable keeping that pattern, so it would look like that. So at this point, you're basically plugging all these in. Now, whether that's to the calculator or the formula or Desmos, and in this case, probably the formula would take quite a bit of time, so you probably lean towards Desmos or a calculator, but you plug them all in, and we come up with 6775, 60,775 different ways that we could create this hands.